Tonight will be Walter Cronkite's final night as anchorman on the CBS Evening News. News Center 8's Gary Stromberg has prepared a tribute to Walter, the dean of television newsmen. Walter Cronkite reporting June 6, 1944, the BBC shortwave has just transmitted this message to France. The year was 1954. Walter Cronkite was recreating the Normandy invasion for the television program, You Are There. Walter had a rapid-fire delivery back then. His calm, reassuring manner had not yet been perfected. Walter was definitely a television pioneer. He anchored the political conventions way back in 1952. Hello everyone, here we are again in Studio A, our CBS television control point for the Westinghouse coverage, this time of the Democratic National Convention. Walter hasn't made history, but he has certainly been with us to present history as it unfolded. There have been times of tragedy. He was wounded in an automobile driving from Dallas Airport into downtown Dallas. Times of exhilaration. Looks like a good flight. Oh, go, baby. And times of chaos. I think we've got a bunch of thugs here, Dan. Over the years, Walter Cronkite has reported on thousands of stories, but there's one I really remember. It finally got what you might call a windfall this week, but it isn't likely municipal officials will see much of it. Gary Stromberg of WJKWTV reports. Walter has always been described in glowing terms. A uh, grandfather, a voice of authority, a very, very nice man. About the best newscaster there is. He's kind of the newsman of newsman. <laughs> Walter Cronkite has been the anchor man of the CBS Evening News since 1962. His sign-off, and that's the way it is, has been his trademark. He has been the symbol of professionalism and journalistic integrity, but he is the first to admit he is far from perfect. And that's the way it is on what day is this anyway? When a major story was breaking, we could always depend on Walter to present the information in a clear, straightforward manner. He was serious when he had to be and humorous when he wanted to be. After a story on a memory expert ended, Walter said, This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News. Good night. He pretended to forget his name. But Walter, one thing's for sure, we won't forget your name. And now, for the final time, the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. President Reagan today opened his second White House news conference with some bad news for the bureaucracy. Fewer government...